Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel BioInfoBand. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about major tasks in data preprocessing. In our previous lecture, we already understand what is data mining, what are applications of data mining and I also told you how can you install Vega software on your system. And I hope that you have installed Vega software. So today we are going to learn how can we preprocess our data. Here a slide for you uh, in which I am going to discuss major task in data preprocessing. First of all, you can see data cleaning and in data cleaning basically there are two main parts which is missing data and noisy data. And when we are working with uh, big data, you know, both things are very frequently happen with our data that there are some data which is missing, there are some noise in our data as well. So when we have missing data, we have, we can do two things. First of all, we can ignore the tuples and secondly, we can fill the missing value. And in today's session, we are also going to learn how can we fill missing value, you know, by using Vega software. Talk about noisy data, uh, we can do three things with that. There are binding method, regression, clustering. So basically, binding uh, method works on sorted data, you know, to smooth it. I'm just going to shortly tell you because I'm not going into a, you know, detailed lecture. I'm just going to give you a short uh, description about it. When you talk about regression, so data can be made smooth by filtering it to regression function. And uh, when we talk about clustering, so basically we basically what we do is we group similar data into clusters. Okay. Uh, then uh, we can discuss data transformation, which is the second major task in data preprocessing, in which we do normalization, attribute selection, discretization, and concept hierarchy generation. So uh, today we are also going to discuss how can we perform discretization by using Vega software. Then uh, last but not least, data reduction. So there is data cube aggregation, numerosity reduction, dimensionality reduction, attribute subset selection. So there are different, you know, uh, data re uh, reduction methods which we can use uh, for uh, this process. So now we are going to start learning how can we fill missing values and how can we perform discretization on our data. So we are going to discuss two main steps such as data cleaning and data transformation. So let's start. The Waker software and on your right hand side you can see there are five application interfaces, explorer, experimenter, knowledge flow, workbench, simple, CLI. So uh, we are going to use explorer. So I'm just clicking on uh, explorer. Once I click on explorer, you can see that there is graphical interface uh, which will open as you can see. Now as I'm working on, um, uh, you know, pre-processing the data, so it's a right tab. Otherwise, there are other tabs like classify, cluster, associate, select attribute, and visualize. So currently, we are using pre-process tab. Okay. I'm going to open a file, and uh, for today's session, I'm just uh, using labor.arfa file, which is available on, uh, you know, on Vega software library. Open the file. Basically, uh, you know that where you install Vega software. So just you have to go, uh, you know, to the Vega folder wherever you install. Like I uh, installed in C drive in program files, so I just go there and I put the data. Now you can see that there is multiple ARF file available. From that I am using. You can see I have highlighted it is labor.arf file. So as you can see, um, labor.arf file is open. So now what I am going to do, I am going to click on edit. To see the missing value, either this data contain missing value or not. Uh, so you can see that there are a lot of missing values are there. You can see that there is written missing, 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 missing. So let's fill the missing values first. Okay. So how can we fill the missing values? Let's see. First of all, you have to click on choose. Okay. Then you have to click on filter. Then you have to click on unsupervised. Okay. Then you have to click attribute. Okay, I hope you know what are attributes. Basically, attribute is a changeable property of, you know, some components of a program. So, I am going to click on attribute. Now, from attribute, I am going to select replace missing value. Uh, okay, you have to find out. Yes, here it is. Replace missing value. I have chosen it. You can see that replace missing value is here. And now, I am going to click on apply. Okay, once I apply it, now I am again going to see my file whether the missing values are filled or not. As you can see, 
all the values are filled. So that means we at least learn how can we clean the data by using record software. So now we learn how can we replace missing values. So let's understand what this current creation tell is about. This is R57, basically what is instanced. Um, uh, this uh, instances show the records or raws in our data. Some of it is 57 as well. Let's discuss attributes. As I told you that attribute is some like uh, something like which is changeable property. Okay, so there are two types of attributes: country, uh, continuous attribute and categorical attribute. So basically, in continuous attribute, we talk about real numbers, height, temperature, etc., and then we talk about you know uh, categorical uh, attribute, uh, basically where values correspond to uh, discrete categories. Okay. Example uh, state with uh, discrete values, for example, Canada, New York, gender, discrete values, male and female, something like that. Okay, so right now uh, I have two duration, for example. So you can see this is the name of the attribute, which is duration. And one thing more, you can see that there is 17 attributes, and this is the name of 17 attributes. This is the list given. Okay. So, uh, the type is numeric, obviously, uh, when there is a numeric type, you can see there are uh, things like minimum, maximum, mean, standard, uh, what is this thing, basically they are basically uh, just telling us that there are four different values um, in this and uh, one uh, unique value, okay. So, let's uh, select some other data, other attributes, sorry, okay. So I have selected pension now. Uh, pension. Okay. So you can see that pension is a nominal data. As I told you, when you select a uh, nominal attribute, so there is nothing like uh, as we see earlier, standard deviation, mean, missing value. There is nothing, and all uh, already we replace all the missing values. That's why it's showing zero percent missing value. There are three distinct, uh, you know, uh, distinct values in it and 0% uh, unique, okay. I hope it is uh, very much clear now the difference between nominal and numeric. So, when you got numeric data, you will have maximum, minimum, mean, standard deviation values. When you are going to work on nominal data, so then there is nothing like that, okay. And uh, according to the selected attribute, you can see that uh, our chart is also changing, uh, basically, as you can see, this chart um, is telling us about bad and good, okay. It has classified like bad or good. So, uh, you can see that uh, blue color is representing, uh, you know, bad and red color is representing good. Seven values in good labeling and almost 20 values in bad labeling. So, uh, it's about discretization in data pre-processing. Uh, first, I'd like to tell you something that when we have a wide diversity of possible data ranges, so it becomes difficult to classify data, which are needed to be in form of categorical attributes. Thus, it becomes necessary to transform continuous to categorical. Okay? So, that's why I uh, do discretization. Uh, after replacing value, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose uh, filter and unsupervised okay uh, in attribute i have to select discretize okay you can see that there is the option of dis uh, discretize and i have click on discretize once i selected discretize now i have to uh, you know uh, click apply click on apply but if uh, if you want to you know um, edit properties so what you can do is you can click here if you want to edit some properties you can change it if you want, uh, you know, to customize it according to your requirement. Right now, I'm just using default parameters, so I'm just going to click OK. But if you wish to change it, you can change it like this. So I'm just going to click on OK and I'm going to click on Apply. Okay, once I apply, so now the digitization is performed in our data. So that's all about today's lecture and I hope you will learn to, in today's lecture how can we clean the data, how can we perform, uh, you know, missing values and discretization by using Waker software. I hope this uh, lecture will be very fruitful for you and if you like this uh, lecture today and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.